Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, I'm at back at Ellis Battery Company and they have made me a deal to replace these batteries. These batteries are in a backup solar generator and what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace it with the SB's, the 122, that's 22 amp hours. It's got, mine has a different head on it. So they got to get them in here. They got them at another location. But I'm telling you something, when you need somebody that really tells you the truth about what they're going to do, you got to come to Ellis Battery Company because I believe they know what they've done. They've done me right so many times, it's, it's just not even funny. Best price in town. Thank you, man. Yeah, what they're going to do is they're going to go in here and take, take some of these screws out, some of them screws out, and get to these batteries. They're not easy to get to. But um, these are technicians. They know what they're doing. Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, I'm back at Ellis Battery, and they've got they've got it completed. These are new batteries in here, and it's ready to go. So I'm telling you, they did it in really quick time. They had to take the whole thing apart from what he just told me. Well, we're going to have to take it and plug it up and hook the solar panel to it and just see what happens. He said those batteries were fully charged, like maybe minus 10%. Yes. Is that 10 each or 10? No, 10, 10 each. They come about 80 to 90% charged. When we put them in units like this, they, the unit automatically will charge them back to finish through the charging form. Mm -hmm. That's once we plug it up and everything. Yeah, once you plug it up. Okay. Well, I sure appreciate it. Uh, to educate myself on this way he's got it hooked up, but that one particular, when you said the number two, 235, is that, what does that mean? Is that uh, it's amp a, hour? It, well, it's, 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 it's CR 235. You're, it's 235 amp hour at 20 hours. Radian is 90 hours at five hours. Um, I, I give you more perspective. Let me pull this up here for you. And you, that's your best seller for the price. That is, that is our best seller when it comes to solar panels. Okay. Solar systems. Well, that could um, be the next purchase. Get a couple of them or i got to size this system to see the amperage and the wattage and uh you know it's it's something that you got to take in consideration when you're doing this because you may need three and they got to be wired in 12 volt or you could need six he said the price got better when you buy them by six okay well they got batteries of all kind i'm just doing my research Ellis Battery, when you're looking for people that can actually give you the straight skinny on anything that's doing with batteries, I like talking to people, looking at them. And, and like he said, he, he sold this battery to people that are doing exactly what I'm doing. They're going off the grid or they're charging batteries with solar, but their whole thing is that they're starting to be prepared for if the grid goes down. Now, nobody's saying the grid's going to go down, but... Ain't it better to be prepared, especially if you don't have anything as a backup? You're going to wish you did. LS Batteries. We're in Ozark, Missouri. Let me get a picture of that logo. All right, as I build this thing, I'll do more videos about it, and uh, we'll find out if these crowns are what we really want. Keep checking back for more updates. Let's start off with a question. What is Earth's axis? Think of it as an invisible line going from the North Pole to the South Pole, right through the middle of the Earth, and it's tilted at a 23 degree angle. Now that you know what the axis is, let's talk about how it got its tilt. When the Earth was very young, it was hit by a Mars-sized object. This collision created an explosion that was so powerful, it tilted the Earth. It was this same explosion that created the moon. Also, if the axis wasn't tilted, we would only have one season, which would get really boring quickly. Well, that's how Earth got its tilted axes, and I hope you learned something.